Hi guys, it's Rob here for another Logic Pro tutorial. Um, I just wanted to quickly chuck this together, so I'm not going to spend too much time on it. Um, just as a response to someone who asked, if you've got um, multiple pieces recorded on one track of different volumes, how you can sort of process them so they're about equal volume and sit the same in a mix. Um, I'll show you an example of some words I've put together using some samples on Logic. Um, so if you look at track one here, I've uh, got some spoken words, I'll just pan through. New. Amazing. Music. Experience. So what you can hear there is the first word is a little on the quiet side, uh, second word's quite loud, third again's on the quiet side, and then fourth again, just it's loud again. I'll just play it through again. New. Amazing. Music. Experience. New. So I was basically asked how to go around processing this so that they're all roughly the same volume. And there are a few ways you can do this. You can use some compression. Probably wouldn't work too well for this because of the you know such difference in the dynamic range. Um, so what I'll probably use is automation. Um, so to basically do that, what you need to do, start off with, is click this button up here that says automation. And then that should expand all the tracks. Now if you look on each track, now there's a menu. Now if you look in the menu, you've got, it starts off with just the basics, pan, volume, um, you can sort of play around this as you add effects in say uh, tape delay or something like that you'll notice some more menus appear and, and parameters you can play around with but for now we just want to look at the volume so if we look um, you see this black line going through this is the default volume for that track throughout which will be set by your fader for that track um, now what you can do is if you click at the beginning that will turn it yellow see that circle there if you click on that it turns it yellow and then if you move this up you'll actually be changing the fader value for that. So to move it up and down, just click on this round blob on the yellow line, hold it down, and up makes it louder, down makes it quieter. So if we put this to about zero, right, let's put it about minus 4.5 4 decibels for now. So we listen to that now. New. The news louder. New. Amazing. Now the word amazing is far too loud. Um, so what you can do is if you click anywhere on this line after, so I tell you what, we'll zoom in a bit here just so we can see what we're doing more. So if you click and hold this fader, drag it to the right, wrong way to start with, um, you can get a much better view of what we're doing. Now you can also do this on this one here. So as you can see, these are all the individual words. You've got new, amazing, or experience, you know, new, amazing music experience or something like that. Um, so the new is quiet, the amazing is loud, music's quiet again, experience is loud. So we want to start off about 4.5, and then if we click anywhere on this yellow line, we'll get a new blob. Um, we'll leave that set at 4.5 for now. Um, then if we click just before the next word, so anywhere like there, you get another blob. And then if you click and hold and then move this down, This is representing the volume now, so it goes along on the first word, minus 4.5, then at the end of the first word, it's still minus 4.5 decibels. Now, as you go to the next word, it will be minus 10.9. So let's have a listen to that, see how it sounds. New. Amazing. Okay, so you haven't gone quite far enough yet, so let's turn that down even more. So again, just click, hold, and then pull that down. So it's getting really quiet now, minus 20.9 decibels. Hit enter or return, whatever you want to call it, to get back to start, and then space bar to actually start the playback. New. Amazing. So, if you listen, the two words now being spoken are about the same volume. New. Amazing. If we take a look at the mixer and see what's happening there, so keep your eye on this fader here on the track. New. Amazing. See how the fader when it comes to second word, automatically reduces. New. Amazing. Okay, so I mean that's working quite well actually. That's uh, bringing to that same volume. Now we want to do the opposite because this third word is quieter than the other two. So again, come to the end of the second word, click anywhere on the yellow line, and then just before as well. And then if we bump that back up to, let's, 4.5, let's take it to what it was again. And let's see, let's see how that sounds. New. Amazing. Music. Okay, actually, that's pretty good. Um, and then finally, for the last word, we'll do exactly the same as we did before. So click that just after the 
third word and then just before the fourth word and then drag this one down now what you don't want to do is drag this one down because what will happen is whilst the third word is being spoken the volume will reduce to this so we want it to go a uh, first word stay at constant level then reduce in volume for the second word stay at constant level increase in volume for the third word and then decrease for the last one um, and then you can just repeat this process throughout the whole stage for any vocal uh, line you know that you, maybe you've got separate parts that you've glued together and because they're recorded at different times maybe with a different microphone not that that's standard practice but if you did you'll get different uh, responses from the microphone and there'll be different volumes so if we listen back to this now all the way through they should be that same volume all the way through new amazing music experience so let's have a look again just see what the mix is doing here so keep your eye on this so we go back to the beginning so this is the key here and if it's on read it should read what our automation is telling it to do so let's just keep an eye on this fader here as we play through new amazing music experience new amazing music experience new now like I say as you do more if you add more effects um, you can well I mean we won't go into it too much now um, but say you wanted to put some delay on there take delay mono okay so you've got all the parameters here um, so let's just hear what it's like. New, new, amazing, amazing music, music, experience, experience. experience. New, um. Um, You might just want to add some automation, but what I just want to show you really quickly is now if you go back to this menu here, see under main now we've got tape delay. So all these parameters we can now play around with. So you might um, want to have the feedback really low to start with maybe so click and then click again hold down have it nice and low and then what's quite a cool trick um, is this on the last couple of words just put one there and then we'll have that increase to there and we'll take the the loop off just so you can hear what it does so now if we have a look in our mixer at the tape delay settings so this is going to be the feedback so if we play some starts, just keep an eye on what this does. That should rise as the yellow line indicates. Okay, and I'll just let that play through. New, new, amazing, 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 experience, 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 other than just the volume, you can use it on pan or any any effect you put in, you, you you'll have the parameters to play with. 